Hello everyone and Happy New Year and uh, Merry Christmas for those who I haven't said hello to for quite a while. Um, I haven't done a video for a while, I've been a little bit busy. What's new? Writing and doing all kinds of things, repairs and what have you. So, uh, recently I tried to use a PowerPC accelerator in my 1200 and it wouldn't work, it wouldn't boot. Didn't think anything of it and um, I sort of ignored it to be honest. Uh, but then I started using the uh, Pi Storm with a Raspberry Pi 3 and uh, I started getting little power issues with that as well. The little um, thunder symbol in the sign, uh, in the corner, in the side, and um, which is a, a low power symbol on screen. So I was using a Meanwell power pack then, uh, whichever one number it is, I can't remember, I'll put it in the comment. Um, I'd already taken out the insides of this from the original Amiga 600. This is, it says, Power Supply Unit Amiga 600 BSI. Commodore. Commodore A600. So originally it was an A600. Power Supply number 391029. Made in West... Oh no, made in Germany. Not West Germany, made in Germany. Anyway. So that was my original A600 power pack. I pulled out the Commodore internals of this quite a while ago. Uh, and popped in there a Meanwell, the small, the smaller version. Is it a 45? I forget. I'll look it up. Um, thought it was okay. I didn't think too much about it. I ran it for a couple of weeks, three weeks or something. Occasionally, still got the little thunder symbol and the Pi Storm. And again, when I powered up the power PC, it wouldn't boot. Now this led me to some other problems as I was trying to troubleshoot an Amiga 1200 at that time. So I wasn't overly confident that this, even with a Meanwell, was doing the job. So I've changed it again. Um, I'm going to include some pictures um, rather than video because I did it over the Christmas break and um, I just didn't video. But anyway, I've now changed it for a Meanwell, the um, 65B I think it is. It is a tight fit in here. It is quite difficult to get it in, but if you Get this cable that goes to where's that one go to i think that goes to the amiga that one if um if you get hold of this little uh, clamp and pull it down the cable you can get that cable going across so all the connections are here which makes life a bit easier you don't have to extend cables then you don't have to use joiners or anything or solder um, you can solder all the connections on the front the power switch still works uh, but it is a tight fit. When you clamp the top on, especially in this 600 power pack, when you clamp the top on, it is very snug. It is a difficult fit to get it in there. It will fit, as you can see, it does fit. There is a tiny bit of bulge on the side where the aluminium case of the um, mean well is pushing against the plastic. I don't care if I'm honest, it fits, it fits quite nice. It's a good fit. It is a bit of a battle. What I did, I put it in what did I do? I assembled it backwards. I think I put it in the top first. So the mean, no I didn't. Did I? What did I do? No, I put it in the bottom. Put it in the bottom first, um, sat it in the bottom, tried to line it up so it was just in line with the four holes for the posts that come down from the top. So that when you take the top off, there are four posts that stick up, two at either end. They line up and the screws, the four screws, go through and screw into the post. That clamps it all together. So it is a very tight fit. Um, if I unscrew this now, I could go like that and it wouldn't fall apart because the aluminium case of the Meanwell is really tight in there. It just fits. I did have to trim off a little bit of the aluminium case on the Meanwell. There's a little tab with a hole that sticks out, a little square piece. It's about three millimeters by three millimeters. I gave it a wiggle and it came off with a pair of pliers. Um, and then it will fit in the case. I'm going to show some pictures now and um, it works perfectly. Now I can power up my Amiga 1200 with the ridiculously overclocked PowerPC card that I have. Um, 
and it seems to run the Pi Storm with no power issues at all. So it's well worth doing. They're a cheap power pack to buy. If you've already got one of these kicking about, and to be honest, the Amiga 600 power pack is useless. Thank you very much. Have a happy, happy new year. I hope the uh, headaches aren't too bad today. It's New Year's Day today and it's half past one. So anyway, happy new year. And uh, this is WXXXXXXXX Radio 1069.